I brought you that video out yesterday about Philip from Devon who has got massive problems. And as we know, uh, there was that piece of footage that was released where he phoned into LBC and basically he was scared he was going to freeze to death in his own home. And the video I did yesterday covering this has been an outpouring of comments and support from you all. And I thought, I've got to try and find something out to see if there's some way we can help him. And I've got a couple of bits of information for you I want to bring across now. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing alright, we're midway through the week now, aren't we? I'm getting towards the weekend, I hope you're keeping warm. I uh, hope you've got everything you need. Obviously, if there's anything you need, try and reach out to somebody you've got. Or, uh, you know, come ask one of us if, if you need to and stick together with this thing. Well, let's talk about Philip, shall we? Uh, yesterday, uh, I brought you the video of Philip from Devon who uh, phoned up Ben Kentish on his LBC show. And he was at breaking point and said... You know, I fear that I'm going to freeze to death in my own home with me and my dog. Ben Kentish turned around and said, I'm not going to let this happen. Uh, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to phone the relevant people. Well, the comments that I got on that video were from all of you guys. You've got hearts of gold, all of you. You've all said, we need to help. We need, you know, and... This competition that I announced yesterday as well, where I was going to give one of you a 50 quid shopping voucher, uh, you've said give it to Philip. So I've done a couple of things, and I want to tell you about them now. Very first thing I did this morning was uh, send a message to Ben Kentish. I basically said who I am, what I've done, what I've said, I've given him a link to the video, and told him, more importantly, what you guys have said, and want to offer support. Uh, basically, I put, hi Ben, I hope you are well. I put a video about Philip on my YouTube channel, which came out this morning. I have people commenting they wish to help him. Is there anything anyone else can do, or is it all in the hand with his MP stroke local council? And I gave him a link to the video if he wanted to watch it and could see the comments. Uh, ben Kentish was kind enough to get back to me this afternoon uh, at... Hop past four. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate that. And uh, he said, Hi, Andy. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I'm pleased to say that we've been able to get Philip's MP and council on the case, so he should now be receiving the support he needs. Thanks again, Ben. So that was from Ben Kentish. Now, I looked into it a bit more today. And uh, I have information in the public domain that's telling me that Philip now has electricity and he also has food, which uh, are two of the main staples of life, aren't they? There's, I spoke to someone once and there's like some kind of triangle where everything in it you've got to have for your basic survival. I found out that uh, Philip's MP is a chap called Richard Ford. Uh, and what I've done, I've messaged Richard Ford as well, bearing in mind the offers of help that you guys have given, particularly, you know, this money that I was talking about. Uh, I've basically, again, said who I am, uh, what you guys have said about the situation, the fact I tried to cover it. Uh, I've mentioned that we're of mind to try and help if we can. Uh, please get back to me if there's anything we can do. I sent that uh, later on from my uh, communication with Ben Kentish and uh, I haven't heard anything back yet but if I do I will let you know and what actions we take in the background to try and help this guy a little bit more but by the sounds of it he uh, should be all right now he, you know his plight has been recognized and he will get all the help he needs so Fingers crossed, uh, that will continue on. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. I wanted to bring this update to you. And obviously, if anything changes or I find out anything else, I'll let you know. See you soon with another. Good night.